fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with an unboxing of I'm pretty sure my last canvas for my Big Ten goal. Uh, this is my Distracted by Diamonds. I've had it for a while, haven't unboxed it, uh, but they're one of my 10 Big Ten companies and since I'm getting down to the wire here I figured you know what I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and that way it will be ready to go if and when I have any kind of spare time to work on it over the next couple of months. So yeah, I'm excited. What kit did I get? This is called Light by Ian. Ian, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, De Jesus. Um, this is a round, it's 62 by 82 and I'm actually excited to get into this one. I've, like I said, I've had it for a while, haven't uh, gotten into it. I've heard lots of good things about Distracted by Diamonds, but I've never done one of her kits before. I got this one off of Etsy. In fact, this is old enough that I bought it before they opened their brick and mortar shop. So yeah, I'm really curious to get into it and see what it's like. So let me cut off the plastic here and get into the box. So I'm actually hadn't really thought about it until I just started filming this, but yeah, this is gonna be my last Big Ten kit. Um, I haven't finished all of the other ones. I've got my um, Craftably to do, but I've already opened it and started it. I've got my Heaven and Earth design to do, but I've opened it and started it. So this is my last one to kind of open and and yeah, so I'm excited. Okay, so let's see what's in the box. So here's our canvas and drills, I'm assuming. And then our toolkit. Make sure I got everything out of the box. Okay, so, oh, we get some little, almost like a pillbox some little storage included. That's nice. Ooh, that's a little hard to, it doesn't want to close again after I opened it. Okay, so we have that. And then we have just a basic toolkit here. We've got, let me get it all out. We've got just a basic white tray, a larger plate of wax, and then we've got our pink pen with a six placer on the end. So, there's our toolkit, and then the exciting part, the canvas and all of the drills. Now, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to get on camera because it is a very large kit, which I didn't realize, of course, before I started filming. Ooh, it's this way though. So let me, it's a little bit of a stiffer canvas than I expected. Let me start rolling it the opposite way here, if I can get it going. I'm liking how the symbols look so far. Okay. Hey guys, as you can see, it's pretty, whew. Okay, and that looks like, let me roll this the rest of the way here, see if I can get it to, maybe lay a little bit flatter in just a minute. So here you can see the little thumbnail that I can cut out and use for my log book and the name. And then I've got, this is sticker paper. I've got all of these that I can cut out and put on my um, containers. Oh, my brain today. So I've got 45 colors. This is a round, like I said. So, it does have the DMC codes, so that's good. Doesn't look like there's any ABs, just regular drills. And here are all my drills already in baggies, for those of you who like baggies. I will be kitting these up into something else. Probably my Elizabeth Ward, but we'll see. So, it's not gonna all fit, so let's just start this way. I think I hit my camera, let me move it. Okay. So here is the top left-hand corner. You can see we've got the little um, seagull up here. Let me check and see. It is nice and sticky. 
I do want to take up this cover sheet and redo it though. There's all kinds of wrinkles in it. So I want to make that a little bit flatter. And then you can see the girl here kind of looks like she's sitting in the water, but it's got all of these flowers. And I really liked this painting because I thought it was very uh, simple and interesting at the same time. I'm a big fan of geometric. I love abstract stuff. And so all the circles of everything um, in a lot of this artist's work is the same way. And I just really like that. So yeah. Okay. So we do have a schematic on both sides. You can't really see them, but there's one here. And then there's also one on this side. They are nice and big. 45 colors with the DMC codes, like I said. And this is supposed to be what did I say? What was the size? Let me look at the box here. It is 62 by 82. So let me measure. And I realize you guys aren't going to be able to see all of this, but 62 by 82. So it is um, six. Okay. So 82 that way. And then this way it is 61 and a half. So pretty close. Okay. And again, looking at the symbols, it all looks really nice and clear. I don't see anything that I think I'm going to have a problem with. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing how this one goes. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know what these mean. But down here in this bottom corner, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this up where you guys can see it. In this bottom corner down here, it says waterproof anti something, anti fade, non ironing, and green. So I'm going to be hanging this one up and letting it kind of relax. But like I said, I'm also going to be taking up this cover sheet because you can see all these wrinkles in here. That may be just because it's been stored for so long. Um, Cause like I said, I don't open mine until I'm ready to work on them. So this has been basically sitting in its box since I got it. So, okay. So there's the canvas. Let's open the drills and see what we've got, shall we? Now she's supposed to have really good resin drills. And like I said, I've not done one of the Distracted by Diamonds before, so. Ooh, this seems like way more than 45 colors, but maybe it's just been a while since I had that many. Okay, I'm not even gonna try and keep them in any kind of order. I'm just gonna go through them and show them to you guys. So Ooh, look at them, no dimples. They look really good. I don't see hardly any trash. So yeah, okay. So we've got this brown. We've got a burnt orange, a very dark burgundy, a chocolate brown, a caramel brown. Ooh, I like this blue. That's a very pretty blue. And then we've got pink and we do have the DMC colors on the bag. So that's good. Um, some very dark blue, some light blue. Oop, that one's trying to escape right there. Let me, let me open that one and get it back down in the bag. Oh, <laughs> it rolled over to the other side. There we go. Okay. I think it fell down in there now. Okay make sure that's closed. So this light blue. Wow, that's all the white. Let's see if I get another bag, but that looks like all the white. Okay. There's a lot of outlining of stuff, so I was expecting there to be more. So we'll see if there's any more. Is this the same color? No. So a slightly darker blue than that one. Another kind of burnt umber burnt orange, dark burnt orange, a dark pink, another kind of dark slate blue, 
kind of a dark peach, a brown, trying to make sure there's nothing getting out there. Ooh, is that all the 310 I'm gonna have? That's not a huge bag of 310. I'm gonna set that aside too. Then we've got another slate blue, which is yet a different, another different number. Then we've got a very pale pink, a blush pink, and we've got a very pale, like minty blue, a kind of a peach color. Ooh, that's kind of like a marigold yellow, like that one. A light gray, another kind of darker pink. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is so windy here today. Okay, um, a very kind of, I don't know what you call that, like a bright peach. Ooh, a darker orange, kind of a dusky mauve color, a red. Ooh, that's kind of a very kind of bluish gray. Another dark pink. Ooh, that's another, see those are, this one is more green than this one. This one's more of a blue. This one's more of like a mint green. Another dark brown. Ooh, these are trying to escape off the edge of the table. Hang on one second. I gotta start putting these back in the container because I'm losing them on the floor. <laughs> They're starting to slide off camera. You guys can't see, but they're starting to slide off. So let me rescue them before we do that. Get all these picked up, put in there. All these picked up, put in there. Okay, so I've got another light blue. Is that the same? Do I have two bags of that? Yes, I have two bags of 800, so two bags because of the water. Um, let's see, a red, a sage green, another kind of dusky, very dark dusky pink. That's that other bright orange, is that the same color? Nope, 740 and 741, so bright orange and then slightly darker bright orange. A very light kind of baby blue, a very light purple kind of a mocha color, another light blue, another packet. I think there's two packages of this 931. Is that right? Of course, now I can't find it. Maybe it's 930. Nope, it's 930 and 931. And then the last two colors are this light brown and then another kind of caramel color. So. That's all of the black and white. That's not bad at all. And all these other very pretty colors. So yeah, so there's all of those. I'm just gonna put them back in there very messily because I can't, I'm not gonna get them back in there the way they were. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this one. I'm hoping it won't take me very long. It is much larger than I expected, which is not, ideal, but it's around, so it'll go pretty fast, right? And I can break it down. So I've got, you know, the little seagull and some flowers up here. The girl can be one section. Down at the bottom here, you've got some like seashells and starfish, all of the waves. And then over in this section, you've got another seagull down here, the water, the waves. So yeah. I'm actually really excited to see how this one turns out. So I've got all of my drills and then the toolkit and the little freebie storage container that came with it. So I'm excited about this one, you guys. I can't wait to see how this is gonna turn out. I really like the photo um, or the image. You can see it here. So you've got the seagull here, her setting in the waves, the little starfish and shells down here, and then kind of all the wind and waves up here with the flowers and the other bird. and yeah, like I said, just all the little circles and the geometry of this one really was what appealed to me. So in fact, I actually had my eye on another piece by the same artist and it sold out before I could get it. So this is the one that I ended up getting. 
But yeah, super excited. This is my last Big Ten canvas. So the next step is to get it kitted up so I can actually start working on it. But first, I have to finish all the other projects on my plate. So uh, be looking for the kit up of this one because I imagine it won't be too long before I get to that point. And yeah, I'm super excited. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. If you do a couple of things for me before you leave, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.